Thank you, Martha. Tell you what, we'll leave it right there and I'll use this one. This is Martha Davis for anybody who might not know, and I would ask you please if you would introduce me to your colleagues. The gentleman right here is? I will. This is Guy Perry, newest motel. <laughs> Guy, where are you from? New York. From New York, all right. On drums. On drums, of course, is Brian Glasscock from Hatfield, England. From Hatfield, England. It's nice to welcome you here. Is it true you married a lady who once danced on this show? I certainly did, yes. I can't believe I don't, I don't understand. That's the far-reaching consequences of this program. The gentleman on bass. This is Michael Goodrow from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Nice to have you with us, Michael. And lastly. Lastly, of course, but not leastly, Mr. Marty Gerard from Gainesville, Florida. There you are. You guys really, you gathered from the four corners there. How does a guy from Florida meet one from England, et cetera, et cetera? How did it all start? You drive to L.A. That was it. All right. Now, you have been well known as an L.A. group, and it took a long time to get there. Now, this album was made, and then, first of all, who produced the album? First of all, it's Val Gray. Very talented Mr. man. Mr. Uh, well, he had a small hit with Betty Davis Eyes. Remember that? Betty Davis eyes. Betty Davis eyes. Seems to me I've heard it somewhere before. Do you remember no. him? He went up in the Grammys in the tennis shoes and the tuxedo. Yeah, the guy is very well known. Now, when you produce an album with him and then you go in and everybody listens, says polite things, then they said they want you to do it over? They were very, very polite, actually. They said, uh, we'll put it out. Uh, we knew you were going to take a giant step this time. We didn't know how giant it was going to be. When they say you're going to do an album again, does that mean throw out all the songs and start again, replace a few, rearrange? What does it mean? Basically, what we were going to do was go back in and re-record a couple of numbers, maybe write another song or two to replace some that they thought were a little too outside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Did you share that opinion? Oh, well, we, we share... Uh, belief in our record company, that they're the ones that have to sell it. And so even if we like the songs that maybe they didn't, um, you're going to go in and do it again. How long did it take to redo it? it probably about three and a half months, boys. Was, was it? Everybody in two and a half? Some yeah. minor disagreement in this uh, situation. Hey, the results paid off. I was floundering over there trying to get words to say that you found the pot at the end of the rainbow. But it's nice to have hits, is it not? It's, it's lovely. It's Would lovely. We worked very hard. We worked a year on this album. We all went to uh, and back. And, 